chestnut steak Got a giant problem on the way We are many, but we only need one Goliath is here, you better run Goliath! <laughs> Goliath! Yeah. Goliath! Goliath! Here and now I challenge any of you Come down and bite the dust I dare you cowards, I defy your god, you weak and pathetic mutts! <laughs> this is our land, this is our home, you need to go back to where you're from. You don't care where you go, but you best not stay, you've got a giant problem on the way. We are many, but we only need one. The life is here, you better run. Goliath! 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 the sword in my hand he's a joke you worship a fraud this is our land this is our home you need to go back to where you're from you don't care where you go but you best not stay you've got a giant problem on the way we are many but we only need one goliath is here you better run goliath 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 you slaves of Saul, so scared of me, no faith in your god to fight. Send someone down and I will show you what real power looks like. This is our land, this is our home, you need to go back to where you're from. We don't care where you go, but you best not stay, you've got a giant problem on the way. We are many, but we only need one, the life is here. <laughs> you pathetic cowards! Am I not a Philistine? Are you not slaves of Saul? Look through your ranks, find something that resembles a man, and send him to me! If he wins, we will all lay down our weapons and become your servants. <laughs> I couldn't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> when he loses, when I turn him to mush before your eyes, then you will become our servants. Noses to the ground like the pigs you are. <laughs> I defy your weakling army. I defy your weakling god. Send a man down here if you can find one. Send him here to fight me. <laughs> well, don't look at me. I ain't fighting him. That guy is a living, breathing mountain on two legs. Have you ever tried to fight a mountain? Yeah, I know you haven't because you're still alive. They say he's almost 10 feet tall, but I will never get close enough to prove it. And from the looks of things, neither will these guys. Goliath has been yelling at them every day for the last 40 days, and not one of them has inched towards accepting the challenge. They just keep getting more and more scared. And can you blame them? Listen to this guy. Who will it be? I can see you. You try to hide like children afraid of the dark. But I am the monster under the bed. I am the terror of your nightmares. I see you, I see you right there. Yes, I'm talking to you. You think that rock will save you from me? Someone get my spear. I think I can skewer that pig from right here. <laughs> yes, run away, you pathetic dogs, run away. I wish that guy would just shut up. Why don't you go down there and make him? How about I make you instead? Don't act like he's not driving you crazy too. Oh, he definitely is. His mouth just keeps on going. I keep expecting him to run out of material, but he just keeps getting more and more creative. It's hard not to listen to. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait! Surely you wouldn't dare go back home! Ugh, it's the waiting that's killing me. Why doesn't he just come here and start swinging? Why don't they just storm this hill? You'll get your wish, brother. Any minute now. Uh, just shut up! That's good, Abinadab. Very helpful. Draw his attention over here. 
That'll end well. Not like you're doing anything. You've seen the most battles. Why don't you go fight him? Because I'm not a dummy, dummy. And you better watch him out. Why isn't Saul fighting him? That's what I want to know. He's our best warrior. Bigger than all of us. I haven't even seen him in weeks. Saul's got better things to do than get killed. He knows he wouldn't win. Well, somebody needs to fight him. I, I can't take this anymore. Somebody fight that guy and get it over with. You do it. Take a hike. Ugh, this is madness. No one's going to fight him, Abinadab. There's not a man in this army that can beat that guy. We're just waiting for them to wipe us all out. I'd rather get a sword in my gut than have my arms ripped off by that animal. And I Hey! That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Jonathan. We all know what we're up against. We're making plans. We'll find a way. But until then, keep it together. You guys got everything you need. Do you want me to send the supply cart around? No, Jonathan. Thank you. We're good. Then stay focused. No matter what happens, we hold this line. If they get past this point, the next stop is our homes. Is that clear? And speaking of home, I think I just saw your little brother coming up the road. Looks like he's got some supplies for you. David? The one who plays for my father sometimes, right? Yeah, I like that kid. He's good energy. <laughs> he sure is, Jonathan. He's a buzzing gnat, that's what he is. That's all we need is David showing up here. <laughs> You're not gonna hear me complain. Oh, give it a rest, will you? I'm telling you, you should be nice to him. Why? What's going on? Nothing. Shema is living in a fantasy world. You know it as well as I do. No, I don't. Knock it off. You're being a pest. What is going on? Shema thinks David has been chosen by God to be the next king of Israel. What? You saw Samuel choose him. A secret meeting? Why would he do that? That is ridiculous. Everybody knows what Samuel said to Saul after the Amalekites. A new king was chosen. Then here comes Samuel to our house? Is that a coincidence? Yes. Then what did he choose David for? How should I know? A sheep herder of the month. <laughs> that kid's a loser. Do what you want. But when he's king, he'll have all the power in the world. And he's going to remember everything we ever did to him. Hey, guys. Hey, David. There you are, buddy. How's it going? You're looking good. I don't know how it's possible, but every time I see you, you got more muscles. <laughs> it's great to see you too, Shema. Abinadab? Eliab? What are you doing here, David? Well, Dad wanted me to check on you guys and bring bread and things. Who's this guy? Welcome to the nightmare, little brother. You got yourself a front row seat. That guy's enormous. You think? We hadn't noticed. I thought it was just the way the light was hitting him. But now that you mention it, he is a pretty husky fella. I bet he works out. He's none of your business, David. You need to go home now. You hide behind your puny god, but he offers you no more protection than the fabric of your tents. When I come for you, the earth will quake beneath your feet. The rocks and bushes will burst into flames around you, and your tents will blow away in the wake of my rage. And your god is helpless to stop me. <laughs> Whoa. Did he? That is not okay. What's going on? Why isn't anyone putting a stop to this? I don't know. What would you say, Shema? Fear of death? Yeah, I'd say fear of death. You don't belong here, David. Get lost. No one's gonna fight him? What about Jonathan? Come on, Jonathan can't beat him. He beat 20 men at once and sent the Philistines into a panic. There's nothing he can't do. That guy is more than 20 men all by himself. Nobody's fighting him, brother. It's suicide. I'll fight him. I'll fight him right now. <laughs> You're gonna fight him? You? There's a thousand ways that guy could kill you accidentally. But you think you could win? What are you gonna do to him, David? You gonna play your harp until he dies from boredom? <laughs> that guy eats stuff like you for breakfast. What would you even fight him with, huh? What would you fight him with? I would fight him with God. You're gonna die soon. You're gonna die soon. I will kill you 
I will kill you. I will kill you. Where are your sheep, David? You're a shepherd boy. You should be watching a tiny handful of sheep. Where are they? I don't see them. I've got some guys watching them. You're not much of a shepherd boy either, are you? You care so little about your sheep that you ditch them and come down to the battlefield? Well, father asked me to What are you, some kind of sicko? Did you come down here hoping you get to see men die? Of course not. This is not a place for children, David. You do something stupid and we all get killed. Do you understand that? He's mocking my God, Eliab. Somebody needs to remove this disgrace from Israel. I don't care who he is, God can take him. Go home, David. You don't belong here. Go to your mother, go home to your sheep. Go home and pray you never see that guy again. Write a song about it if you want, but do it at home. Go on! With God, I could take him. So could you. Get lost and take your stupid bread with you. Hey, it was nice to see you again, David. Come back anytime, buddy. <laughs> Love you, man. Wait, stop right there. David, right? Yes, sir. I'm David. Musician, right? You played for the king before. Yes, sir. I have. Well, the king is... Uh, stressing a little bit. I'd like you to play for him. Do you have your harp with you? Absolutely. Yeah, I do. Well, good. Then come on. Ain't it funny how sometimes one thing can lead to another? David wasn't even here five minutes, and now this is happening. Hey, what's going on? There was a guy here a minute ago that said he would fight the giant. Yeah? Really? Somebody's stepping up. Seemed confident, too. Can't remember his name. Pretty sure it was David. Yeah, that's right. David. He didn't look like much, but he was definitely brave. Brave doesn't even begin to tell the story. Rock solid faith, that guy. You know, one time he killed a lion with his bare hands. Really? Wow. Must be bigger than I thought he was. Must be huge if he's killing lions. Where is he? I think he went off to play his harp. No way! You see what I mean? First one thing, then another. Hey, did you guys hear? Somebody's stepping up to fight the giant. Oh, praise God! Who is it? His name's David. Big guy. They say he likes to hunt dangerous animals with his bare hands. Seriously? I gotta see this guy. Where is he? Don't know. I heard he's off writing songs that he sings to his enemies before he slays them. He probably knows a way to hypnotize people with his voice. That sounds like a thing that could happen. Hey, what's all the excitement? King Saul has some poet warrior gearing up to fight Goliath. They call him David the Lion Killer, and he's the biggest man on Earth. Well, that's exactly what we need. I know, right? Let's go talk to the commander. And that, kids, is how rumors get started. But it wasn't all fun and games, at least not for Saul. The Spirit of God had left Saul, and it never came back. That, along with having a giant yell at him for 40 straight days, well, Saul couldn't hardly keep it together. There was only one thing that did him any good at all. They say music has charms to soothe the savage beast, and David always knew just what to play. Only the Lord knows our deepest secrets we try not to reveal. Only the Lord can read my heart and understand how I feel. Only the Lord sees through the darkness that holds me down. Only the Lord can bring peace in chaos that swirls all around. Let go of the things that trouble you and focus on God above. There is nothing that can harm you when in the presence of His love. Only the Lord can hear my cries when it feels I'm alone. Only the Lord can give me rest in the midst of the unknown. Only the Lord can make right the mistakes I have made. Only the Lord can 
can change my life after I have strayed. Let go of the things that trouble you, for He is in this place. Allow yourself in this moment to feel His embrace. Close your eyes and know He is here. Close your eyes and know He's here. You're a shepherd, right? Um, yes, sir. I was a shepherd once for about a week. <laughs> it's a tougher job than you get credit for. <laughs> yes, sir, it is. I couldn't stand being alone all the time. I hate being alone. It's a very lonely job, being a shepherd. Yeah. Yeah, it can be. What's your best story? Well, I... I... Come on, every shepherd has at least one great story. What's yours? Well, one time I killed a bear. You did not. I sure did. A bear? By yourself? All right, wait. Back up. Start from the beginning. Set the scene here. <laughs> okay. It was evening. I was making dinner. What were you making? Um, lentils, I think. Oh, man. The life of a shepherd. <laughs> okay, go on. Yeah. So my sheep wandered over this ridge. They were only gone a few minutes... But then they started making all kinds of noise. I knew something was up, so I checked it out. And when I came over the top, there she was. This massive she-bear, like 20 yards from me. You have got to be kidding. She's lumbering toward my sheep and drooling all over the place. I freaked out and yelled at her. I'm like, hey! And, and she stopped. She just looks at me. Then she stands as tall as she can on her back legs and just roars into the sky. No, this can't be real. Next thing I know, she's running at me. But I'm already loading a rock into my sling. A sling? You're insane. I've got maybe three seconds. So I zipped that sling as fast as I can. And before the first rock even landed, I was loading another one. But the first one hit her square in her forehead. I saw the lights go out in her eyes before the second one hit her in the back of her open mouth. She was dead before she even hit the ground. That is unbelievable. You hit her both times? Under pressure? Well done, kid. One swipe from her and you would have been a goner. Nah, <laughs> I wasn't going to let her get close enough. Great story. You must be really good with that sling. I thank God every day for guiding those rocks. He's always my protector. Praise him. Yes. Praise God. There was one good thing I remember about being a shepherd. I loved the mornings. Watching the sun rise over the valley. Feeling the morning breezes blowing in off the sea. It was peaceful. There were no wars, no bloodshed. What I wouldn't give to be back there again. I could feel God's presence all around me, cradling me like a baby. Have you ever felt like that before? Yes, sir. I have, every day. I don't feel it anymore. I can't feel God's presence. He's left me alone. But now, right now, I feel him. He's here. He's with you. My king! Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's urgent. We have a champion among our people. You should go now, boy. Tell me. Rumors are spreading about a guy named David. Yes? Not you, kid. He's a beast of a man. Witnesses say he claimed he could beat Goliath with one arm tied behind his back and a blindfold over one eye. Then let's get him up here. Find me this David. 
What, what was that, sir? I'm sorry. Not you, kid. We're talking about a David who said he would fight Goliath. I'm a David who said he would fight Goliath. What? Yeah, I'll fight him. I heard what he's been saying about God. If nobody else will, I will. It's not you we're looking for, kid. This guy was seen arguing with the sons of Jesse. I was arguing with the... I am a son of Jesse. It's impossible. The guy we're looking for is 12 feet tall, and his arms are like tree trunks, and his skin is gray and leathery, and he has huge tusks coming out of the front of his face. You just described an elephant. That's not a person. Does that sound plausible to anyone else? I'm David, and I will fight the giant. Look, kid, I love your spirit. I really do. But even if you are the guy we're looking for, I can't send you out there. You're only a boy named David. You've never fought a man before, much less that man. He's been fighting since he was bouncing off his daddy's knee. You can't beat him. That guy's 10 feet tall. He's enormous. I know what he looks like. He's still a man, and I'm not gonna let him get close enough. That Philistine has openly taunted and defied the armies of the living God. The same God that protected me when I killed that bear, the same God that gave me the strength to kill that lion, and it's the same God that's gonna rescue me from the hands of that giant. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. There is no enemy he can't defeat. Pick me, I'll fight him. Through me, God can do all things. David. My king, I feel him. He is here. God is with me. Well, you're not going out there looking like that. Put my armor on him. My king, may I speak with you a moment? You can't in good conscience send that child out to fight Goliath. He doesn't stand a chance. What have I got to lose, Abner? If he gets killed, we'll just say he's crazy. He stole my armor and ran out there. The Philistines couldn't possibly take him seriously as a champion. It'll be a joke. But if he wins, I don't see a downside, do you? He'll be killed. Most likely. But if he is, then I guess God wasn't with him after all. How does my armor feel to you, kid? Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. I don't know about you, but I'm getting nervous. There's something I don't like about this situation, and I'm pretty sure it's that big, mean giant. That guy is a living, breathing weapon of mass destruction, and he's smarter than the average bear, too. Why, even the Philistines don't know what to do with them half the time. For example... We've given them plenty of time to send out a champion, and they've refused. Now we're just giving them time to prepare. I say we attack. You're finally talking sense. There's never been a more appropriate time to take action. It's clear our army is mightier than theirs. If we don't act now, then shame on us. Action is a must. No more wasting time with endless banter that goes nowhere. We've done far too much of that already. Just talking about the problem and not actually doing anything about it, that ends now. I mean, there's definitely a time and a place for discussion. Well, oh yeah, I'm not saying there isn't. But this is definitely not the time nor the place. That's exactly my point. What about you? Uh, I'm with you, fellas. Then it's decided. We put a stop to all the delays and take immediate action. If you ask me, I think it was the delays that were keeping us from acting in the first place. Couldn't agree more. I propose we sit down right away, compose a list of all the things that are causing the delays, and systematically begin the process of doing away with those things immediately. Let's vote on it. All in favor of doing away with the delays? All opposed? <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just doodling. <laughs> we certainly could use your help, Goliath. Yeah, you sure could. Then would you mind joining the conversation? What are you even doing over there? Is that a drawing of us? Yeah. You're all dead on a battlefield! <laughs> is... is that me? Yep. 
It, where's my head? Over here! <laughs> Come on, Goliath. We're not paying you for this. We need your input. Yeah, Goliath. Tell us what you think. Hmm, what do I think? Hmm, okay. Uh, what do I think? I think you're ignorant. You're a simpleton. You're ugly. Your sense of style is offensive. You were clearly dropped on your head as a baby. You're the smallest human being I've ever seen. And you, you must be someone's cousin. No other explanation for why you're even here. <sighs> He's my brother. Oh, you're with Ignorant. I should have known. Goliath, this is uncalled for. We are generals. The sound of your voice causes me physical pain. No talkie. Make all the plans you want. They will fail. You think you're fighting those quaking Israelites out there, but they are nothing. The one you must defeat is their God, and that's impossible. Are your brains too feeble to remember what Jonathan did to us, or the power contained in their Ark of the Covenant? Have you not heard the stories of Samson? I have. For 200 years we've battled them with our superior armies, carrying our superior weapons, and still they drive us back, miraculously, again and again. But you think this time will be different, because you're ignorant. You don't realize that I'm the only one who can defeat him. I'm your only hope! You just said it's impossible! I just said no talking! To defeat their god, you must break the will of his people. Make them so doubtful of his power to save them that they give up before they even ask for his help. No one can do that but me. Their god has never faced an enemy like me. They've never had a champion that could defeat me. Samson would look like a child next to me. I'm the only plan you need. I am the only plan that will work. Without me, this is you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a nation to taunt. Go back to doing whatever this is. Uh, he's actually a pretty good artist. What'd I tell you? That guy is scary. I'm not even sure he's all there. It would take some kind of faith to stand up to that guy. Meanwhile, in the River Valley... You got this. I'm just a shepherd. I can't take him. You know that. But you can. You can drive the Philistines back to the sea. You can send plagues, pillars of fire. You can split the earth and swallow up mountains. And that giant has mocked you. He has openly defied you. So I offer myself up as a vessel. Deal with that giant however you see fit and do it through me, Lord. I am your servant. Your will be done. Okay. Yeah. You're the warrior. I'm just the weapon. Let's do this. You got this. <clears throat> so that's how you talk to God, huh? That's how I talk to my friends. <laughs> so you're our champion. Shepherd, musician. Now you're a warrior? I am whatever God wants me to be. I have to tell you, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard of. I know. It should be you fighting that giant. You really think God's gonna save you from him? Is that a question? Not really, more of a realization. But here's a question. You gonna fight that guy with a sling? First of all, you underestimate the power of my weapon. And secondly, and more importantly, you underestimate the power of my God. You? Of all people, Jonathan, you, you've seen it. You've seen what God can do, and you still doubt him? It's not doubt. It's common sense. I, I mean, maybe it is doubt. I don't, I don't know, but that guy is a killing machine. And my God is an impenetrable shield. I think that gives me the advantage. <laughs> you really are quite a guy, David. 
I'm rooting for you, brother. Pray for me instead. You got it. What are you even doing out here, kid? I need to find a good rock. <laughs> or maybe four <laughs> or five. You know, my pouch is getting a little low. Probably should restock a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea, David. I've had my share of success when I needed him, God was there. But in this moment I must confess I am a little scared I can see the path before us and wish there was another way Is it not right to fear what's dangerous, live to fight another day? Just trying to figure out what God might do David is picking up the stones he knows that God will use Is there no fear, no doubt, it doesn't seem wise Accepting a fight to the death against a giant twice his size Can it not wait? Take some time, think how this might end There must be something missing I don't want to lose my friend How can I fight this crisis of faith? I don't want to lose my friend I've been around enough to know that God can do anything I pray for a miracle that God will save the day with David's sling Yet while I am here just trying to figure out what God might do David is picking up the stones he knows that God will use Is there no fear, no doubt? It doesn't seem wise Accepting a fight to the death Against a giant twice his size Can it not wait? Take some time Think how this might end There must be something missing I don't want to lose my friend How can I fight this crisis of faith? I don't want to lose my friend So here I am just trusting in God and what He can do Trying to be a man That my God can use I'm aware Alone I cannot win Attacking giants isn't wise Accepting the challenge in the fight to the death Against a man that's twice my size But in spite of our differences A sling versus a sword Goliath may be bigger than me But he's no match for my lord quality time together today. What do you think? Ha ha ha! Hey, did your god ever show up to protect you? Fashionably late seems to be his style. Does he know you're here? Can he not fit you into his busy schedule? Or perhaps he's a bit under the weather. 
feeling a might puny. Or maybe he's scared, hiding, because he knows he's powerless against me. Your time is up. I am your destroyer. I am the hand of death. I will devour your carcasses as an appetizer, and your children will be my dessert. You cannot fathom a fury such as mine. My wrath will wash over you like... What's this? Oh, wow. That's David. David, no! Stop, Iliab. You can't go down there. He'll be killed. So will you. Did you come to bring me dinner, little boy? My name is David. I accept your challenge. I will fight you. <laughs> oh, perfect! Saul, you cheeky devil. Good comeback. Oh, actually makes me like you a little bit. Priceless. Oh, thank you, kid. I needed that today. I am here to fight you, giant. Will you accept? Or will you surrender? <laughs> It's a little less funny the second time, boy. You should quit while you're ahead. Wait a minute! Is this true? Are you the champion of Israel? I am? Saul sent you down here. He did! Then where is he? I actually... don't know. But you're really a champion for your people. Yes! Yes, I am. Let's do this. Come on. <laughs> Kid, I have things bigger than you digesting in my stomach. What are you even wearing? Is that a rice sack? Oh, <laughs> this is a joke. You don't even have a weapon. Am I some kind of dog that you come at me with a shepherd's staff? You know what? I don't even care if you're the champion. Come over here and I'll give your flesh to the birds of the sky and the beasts of the field. You come at me with a sword. But I come at you in the name of the Lord of Hosts, the God of the armies of Israel whom you have taunted. This day the Lord will hand you over to me, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. And it will be me who gives the corpses of the army of the Philistines to the birds of the sky and the beasts of the field, so that all the earth may know there's a God in Israel, and he doesn't save with the sword, for the battle is the Lord's and he will hand you over to us. In the name of the God of Israel, huh? Well, all right then. I guess this is it. Throughout all time, they will speak of what I do to you here today. Abner, who did that kid say his father was? I don't remember, my king. I wasn't really paying attention at the time. Your God has never seen an enemy such as me! He cannot save you! Come at me! Silly, get all nervous. I never doubted him for a minute. I knew right away that that boy had the power of God flowing through him. And I wasn't the only one who noticed. Ain't that right, Saul? Chase them as far as the gates of Ekron. Kill as many as you can. And bring me that boy. Could it be that he's the one? The one what? Just bring him. I, I can't believe you did it, little brother. Right between the eyes. Unbelievable shot. 
You did everything right, David. Had the sun shining in his eyes. The wind at your back. A million to one shot, David. And you pulled it off. Amazing. No. <laughs> Stop it. You guys still don't get it. You think that was me out there? <laughs> I'm just a shepherd. I didn't put the sun in his eyes. I didn't shift the wind. God did it all. I was just willing to be used. It's not cause I'm strong, and it's not cause I'm quick. It wasn't my aim that made him fall like a brick. It's not cause I'm smart, and luck wasn't why. Goliath is done and the victory mine. It's not cause I planned the perfect attack. It's not the stones that I chose or their vicious impact. It's not the sling and it wasn't the breeze. I'll tell you exactly what I believe. God is the reason. He is the reason. He holds my life in His hands. And even when I don't understand He fights for me till the battle is done God is the reason I won As the story moves on, as they often do I hope I never forget all that God's brought me through But if I get lost and I'm feeling alone Lord, hold on to me and bring me safely back home God is the reason I'm living and singing He holds my life in His hands And even when I don't understand He fights for me till the battle is done God is the reason I won Understanding and love I'm feeling right now I'm trusting God's plan without knowing The why or the how God is the reason I'm living and singing He holds my life in His hands And even when I don't understand He fights for me till the battle is done God is the reason I won He fights for me till the battle the reason I was